Okay, oh my gosh. <laughs> Welcome to your epic hands, a weekend spent with your best friends. At 2 p.m. we will check into our Broad Beach mansion. Friday night will not be will not be a sinner. We can either stay in or go to dinner. If we stay in, it won't be ordinary. We can all play naughty pictionary. Tomorrow, however, will not be tame. Will be so that you'll forget your name. <laughs> Buckle up, your main event has begun. It's time to set sail for a day in the sun. At 9.30 a.m. we board our private catamaran off to Stratty to celebrate future Mrs. Ackerman. Ackerman! <laughs> <laughs> 1.30 p.m. we will arrive back at the house. You better not be sexting mouse. <laughs> By 6 p.m. we'll be dolled up, more than ready to get booked up. <laughs> Once the Wild Hens games are said and done, it's time for the night to get even more fun. You're probably thinking it's already been a bloody ripper. Just you wait for 9 p.m. when we welcome for your surprise. <laughs> Do <laughs> you want to have a bath? No. What have you? <laughs> <laughs> My phone is. <laughs> 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 okay. I'll go before I get slow. You're going to get in trouble, you naughty I'm girl. <laughs>
Hello, so today is the 3rd of April and I am going to pick up my wedding dress from the alterations lady. Now, there's been a little bit of a, a bump in the road. <laughs> So about a week and a half ago, we had to make the decision to postpone our wedding due to the coronavirus. So it really sucks. Oh, hello, Ross. I don't feel as though I really need to go into much detail about my feelings on this subject. I do want this video for memories and I don't think I'll forget how I felt so <laughs> I think I'm just still quite upset about the fact that we've had to postpone and I was doing okay for like the last couple days and maybe the last week but like now actually like having to go get the dress it's like No, it hurts. It'll be okay. There's not a cloud in the sky. It's a little bit chilly, but nice. Damn it. <laughs> All right, so we've gone for a little drive. We're at, where are we? Stony Creek. Yeah. We're going for a little explore. Get out of the house. They literally changed the the um, COVID rules last night, so we're allowed to travel 50 kilometers from home. Perfect timing. Just got home to a few more surprises. Got some more beautiful flowers. And blue. <laughs> so a year before we went to get married, Tanil sent me a balloon saying, one year until you become Mrs. Ackerman. And so now she's got, what's another year? <laughs> Hello, it has been a while. It is the 14th of July and I am on my way to a makeup trial. I'm sure I would have explained it in other clips, but in case I didn't, my MUA that I had wouldn't rebook me when I was trying to reschedule everything in the craziness of postponing. So she said that she doesn't open her books that far in advance. And I said, but I'm not a new booking. I've had a booking with you for 10 months. Why can't you just schedule me in? And then she said, if you don't find anyone else, we will contact you 
um, closer to the date and requote you. And I thought that was just completely unacceptable. Like, I'm not a new client. You shouldn't have to requote me. I was happy for her to keep my deposit um, because that was what she asked for. I said, fine, keep the hundred dollars, but I don't see why you can't just reschedule me. But anyway, I end up ditching her because I wasn't happy with that situation, especially because every single other vendor just rescheduled and didn't charge me, didn't requote me. Like, obviously, they're all at a loss too, but they were all just happy to schedule in my new date. This makeup artist's name is Hannah, and she's located up the Sunshine Coast, so that's where I'm heading now. Her quote did come in a little bit cheaper than my previous makeup artist too, so that's always a bonus. But yeah, she seems really nice. I've been following her on Instagram for a while. Her style is a bit more natural than my previous makeup artist, so I'm quite excited to see what we come up with today, and I will show you the finished result. Okay, so I just got done with my makeup trial. Hannah was so nice. I get along with her so well. She is my kind of person, super bubbly, so I love that. As for the makeup, she said that the foundation just wasn't quite working with my skin tone. It was the Dior something or other. So she's going to get a different version of that because the shade match was really nice. So we'll go for that because it is just a little bit dry around my nostrils and on my chin. We're also going to go for more of a cream blush rather than a powder because my skin's just missing that, that something, you know? And then my feedback for the eyes are I'm going to go a little bit more cool toned. I feel like they're just a bit too warm and less on the lashes. I feel like they're just a bit too heavy. Like they look good, but I just think for my wedding, I want them to look a little bit more natural. So yeah, I'm really happy with her. I think everyone's gonna get along with her really well. And I'm excited. Now that I've got her sorted, that is literally, like I should be right for wedding planning until like two months prior. So I'm going to relax for a few months. <laughs> And then when it gets closer, I'll get back into it and yeah, get onto that. So I'll see you then. I still remember the feeling. I wanna dance in the candle. Today is Monday, the 29th of March. I had to Google that because I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> um, so it's been a while since I've updated anything on this vlog. I really haven't been doing much. I took off a really decent break from wedding planning. We've been focusing on the house and building and that is very stressful. <laughs> But we're back on to wedding planning. Today is actually a bit of a weird day because we are going into a three-day lockdown because of COVID. I just had my hands on the weekend. So I feel like this is kind of what happened last time. I had my hands and then everything turned to shit. And so now it's like, okay, I just had my hands and now we're going into a lockdown. I'm like, it's only three days. But the list of places that these people have visited is just getting longer and longer and it's just nerve-wracking knowing that this isn't over. Like we could come out of this three-day three day lockdown and it's fine. But what if in a few months' time, a few days before our wedding, bam, lockdown. Like it's just that, that unknown feeling that's quite scary. But it's all right. I just... I'm trying not to focus on it. It's hard, but <laughs> I'm trying not to. So anyway, I just had a call with Sarah. She is the event organizer for the venue. We just had a little catch up, 
touch base on where we're at. I'm very excited about the things we just went over. Um, we went over the timeline for the evening, how that's all gonna run. And just a few other questions, like with COVID, there still are some things in place. Like we have to have a box over our cake and like desserts. So it can't even like be on a pretty display. It's like gonna have this big clear acrylic box over it. But it has to be done. Um, everything else is actually pretty all right. The only other thing we couldn't do because of COVID is have a like a grazing table um, in the afternoon. So instead of having someone walk around with canapes, we wanted to have a big grazing table so people could just go up and eat when they wanted to eat. Because I felt like with canapes, you're always going like, where's the bloody food? There's never enough. So I kind of didn't want to do that, but that's all right. We don't really have an option. So besides that, everything is still running to plan. They just take care of everything. Like I'm really happy with this venue. I was like, do I need a help on Friday setting up everything? She's like, oh no. She's like, just drop down what you want and we'll, we'll set it all up. That's a party package. I'm like, cool. So yeah, things are happening. I am literally about to send off the invites via Facebook because I'm not paying to send them all out again. <laughs> I already did that once and it was expensive. So this time around, people are getting their invites over Facebook. And yeah, that is pretty much where I'm at. Once I get the RSVPs, I can start doing things like um, ordering, like do the table settings, um, like the seating chart, ordering table numbers, like little guest like called like little tags on the plate so people know where they're sitting. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much it for now. I will try to remember to keep updating things when I do them, but there's really not that much to update on now because I did it all last year. <laughs> Hello, the countdown is seriously on now. There are 33 days to go. And today I am going to get my teeth widened with my maid of honor Tennille. We're just doing it at her house. It's like a mobile teeth whitening situation but before I go I just wanted to show you the cute guest book that I got delivered this week. I picked this one up online from Laboda Boutique. Isn't it cute? So it's like a linen fabric and then we've got our names and the date and it's literally just like a blank guest book and I've got a Polaroid camera and I'm gonna get people to take a picture and write a little message. I love it. So lots has been happening. I've been pretty good with my to-do list. Like I feel like I'm quite on top of it. I've got it here. I write it up and print it out all the time. I highlight everything off. It feels so good to highlight things when they're done. I actually finished my vows the other day, which I'm really excited about. I think, I think they're pretty good. So I just need to read over them one more time and then send them off to the celebrant. Clinton has finished his as well. So then the celebrant will read them and just make sure they're like in line with each other. What on earth is my hair doing? So yeah, that is pretty much where we're at. I did end up taking my dress back to the dressmaker to remove some beads that were kind of annoying me on my um, shoulders here. So I'm picking that up tomorrow and then I'm dropping it off at a dry cleaners because I did buy the dress off the rack. Other people had tried it on, so I just want to go get it touched up a bit before I wear it. Still lots to do, but I'm feeling good about it. So let's go get my teeth whitened. <laughs> There's a, um, a pink theme today, if you couldn't tell. All right, there are 18 days to go. I got some packages recently, so let me show you what I got. So I received my place cards today and I got them off Etsy from a shop called Inksy. Inksy? Yeah. It come with this beautiful handwritten note with a little chubba chub that just says, thanks for supporting my small business. And I went with this kind of transparent flat card and I'm going to have them sit like on the plate, on the napkin. She hand wrote every single one of these names in a beautiful calligraphy. Oh my God, they look so good. Oh my God, so beautiful. I am so happy with them. Tanika. Oh my God, I friggin' love these. 
absolutely amazing. And then I ordered some table numbers and another little sign. I went with a frosted glass with white font. So we've got table one through to five, and then they come with these, or like you order extra, these wooden stands to pop them in. So it looks like that. Oh, I love them. I love this font. And then I ordered a guest book. I'm pretty sure I've shown it in these videos. And so I decided to get a sign made up to go next to it. So this says Polaroid guest book. Snap it, shake it, stick it, sign it. So cute. And that goes in the little stand as well. I really love the arch shape and I thought I ordered the table numbers in an arch. Turns out I didn't, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, they are so beautiful. So these were around, I think this one was $13 and the others were $10 each to personalize. So I think that's pretty good. And it's definitely something that I can resell afterwards too. This afternoon, I wanna redo my bridesmaids boxes. I brought some new slippers. I also got some socks cause it's gonna be friggin' freezing. Um, and I got, I ended up getting some robes for my mom and my sisters and my niece. So I also got them slippers. I just wanna do up little bags for those. So I'll show you when I'm done. I can't remember if I showed you these robes already that I got for my family, but I need to show you this one that I got for Aria. So she's my two year old niece. Look at this. Like, are you kidding? Is it not the cutest thing you've ever seen? Oh my God. She's going to look adorable in that. And then I got her some little, little Ugg boots. <laughs> I got these robes and all my pajamas from the brand La Rose. So this is what my presents are looking like so far. I've got my mum and my sisters in bags and then the bridesmaids in boxes here. I just bought some like fake whatever this is from Spotlight um, and I'm just chopping it up with some twine and craft paper. I think they've turned out pretty cute. I'm just out to breakfast with Jackson. He's going to be my MC. We're down at Redcliffe. We're just going to go over some of his MC duties. He's got a lot <laughs> to take in. <laughs> 12 days to go. I just wanted to show you something that Tenille, my maid of honor made me. So on my first hen's night, she printed out these advice cards and she got everyone who was there to fill one out and on the countdown to the wedding, I get to open an advice card every day from someone. And she even found the exact design I used for my wedding invitation and matched the advice cards to that. <laughs> this is the box that she made up. So we've got two weeks to go and I've got a countdown up until the wedding. So I get to open up this one today. How cute. So this is from my girlfriend, Rachel. She says, remember to take in every moment on your big day with Mouse. That's Clinton's nickname. <laughs> you both are so loved and special to everyone with love from Rach. <sighs> it's just so cute and thoughtful. I absolutely love it. And it's so exciting, like having a little wedding advent calendar. <laughs> This afternoon, we are going to pick up all the alcohol. <laughs> so I just got off the phone to Dan Murphy's. We've placed a click and collect order for $1,500 worth of alcohol. They could have delivered it, but it was $250 to deliver it. And I'm like, okay, we'll pick it up. <laughs> so that'll be quite a task this afternoon. I'll show you, um, I'll show you that when we get it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, cause it feels so right. Cause it feels just like you. It's not her hair, but the way she wears it. It's not the makeup around her eye. So much as the iris, but she's glaring. Staring right back at mine. It's not her lipstick, but the imprint that her kiss makes through my mistakes. And I'm smiling while she's smiling. Three days to go. Oh my God. We are headed up to the venue. Using my favorite L'Oreal Infallible. <laughs> we can see some guests rolling up. 